Hello and welcome to Waterblog UK. Today you join me here at Suffolk Water Park, obviously in Suffolk. Um, this is actually where I originate from, this whole area, and uh, this is a lake that we've been fishing for a couple of years now. Um, we're here for carp, you can fish it in the winter for, for, for pike which run really big as well, but today it's a nice uh, autumnal day, we're here fishing for the actual carp that this lake has. It has something around about 30-30s, about so a really strong head of very, very nice looking fish. Um, we're fishing a swim known as 007, which is a sort of a, a swim you can book out. It's myself and Kerry fishing this weekend, and um, we've got a couple of nights. Um, so, without further ado, we're going to get the tackle out, we're going to get some fishing done, we're going to have a cup of tea. We'll speak to you in a bit. Okay, do you mind just talking us through the rig very quickly, is that okay? Yeah, not a problem. We've got um, 12 inches eight angle jeeving. Yep. Just down to a little fox clip. Yep. Watch lead. Yep. About a nine inch coated trace, just the last sort of inch or so, stripped back. Yep. Hook and just eject it. Yep. Yep. And um, Love a it. cell hooker. Dumbbell and just a little white pop up cut in half. Just yeah, it's just really, to, really simple. Balance it a little bit. Just really simple rigs, basically. No real reason for the watch, watch lead, watch face lead. No, just, um, just, just grip well, don't they? You know, just help set the hook, maybe. Um, yeah, that's yeah. it. Simplicity's key, I think, down here, definitely. not quite the, uh, the carp run that I expected. The rod just went zipping off, uh, struck in a bit odd. So what we've got here, what we've got going on. Not a lot there um, until I reeled in. Realised. Hope this little beauty, which um, actually a really nice little roach. Obviously not what we're after, but goodness me, if this is sort of the average size of about a pound, Imagine, you know, imagine what sort of size those fish could be going to in here, feeding off all the carp anglers' baits and so on. Um, took a bit of a fancy to my stick mix and I caught it on that unfortunate on the bolt rig, but who knows, maybe in maybe in the winter we can come down here, maybe just solely try and catch these little chaps. Get some really nice fish. Anyway, I'll get him back now. Well I just thought I'd uh, use this opportunity just to show you where we're fishing. What I've done is I've Sort of walked around to the right of the swim. What we're looking down here is the far side, the far bank, which is essentially out of bounds. And it's as you can see, it's it's all reed line. There's a couple of foot between the reeds and when the weed bit actually starts, and it's sort of a case of plugging baits down that sort of that little thoroughfare, and hoping the fish sort of patrol that route during the during the evening and the night. So. That's where I've got a couple of baits. Harry's just fishing more out in open water. There's a lovely gravel bar out there that we're fishing to as well. So very overcast. It's winds pushing southwesterly and it's lovely and warm. So fingers crossed, you might get some fish. So from this angle, you can make out the. Um the reed bed I'm talking about a lot better. I've just come to the left of the swim now and the baits are somewhere along that far edge there. Nice one. One of 
first session, we got to ring the changes. Excuse me. Well, we're uh, heading into the second night now. Uh, we've just had a lovely stay, Kirsty and Carey. Thank you very much for that. I really enjoyed that. Oh, it was lovely. Um, yeah, it looks really good. The weather, um, the weather is perfect. Again, the winds just dropped off. Um, it looks good for a bike, doesn't it? So, yeah, it uh, feels very right. I think. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, absolutely. So let's hope the uh, cod, cod gods, cod, <laughs> the carp gods. Sorry, the carp gods are smiling on us tonight, sir. Cheers. <laughs> Go for it. There she is. In all her glory. Beautiful fish. Twenty. Sorry, thirty-two pounds. My mistake. Yeah. Absolutely glorious Not fish. Not in the town. <laughs> right, let's get her back. Absolutely. Where she belongs. So, Kerry, um, how did you find that session? How did you, um, you find that? Difficult. Um, it was very, very little signs of fish activity. Nothing really showing. Not that much confidence that fish possibly over baits that much during the two days. Well, that's it. I, I, I agree. It's just it's when you've when you've got a lake like this where fish are typically quite showy, I think it's it's very difficult if you're not seeing any sort of activity on the surface to be have any sort of confidence. Mm. Yeah, you um, don't know what's going on down there. You don't know if the baits have been cleared out from the previous day, you don't yeah. know if they're just sitting there breaking down. You've got nothing to judge it by, do you? There's not even no no sort of disturbance off the bottom, no fizzing, nothing. You know, we've been watching like hawks and and that's sort of you know, you're you're using those pieces of the jigsaw thing to fill everything in, aren't you? Definitely. Um, would you have done anything differently? If you had um, you done the session again? Maybe um, try getting a, a bigger bed of slightly different, maybe get some part of it. Yep. Or just get a bit of, maybe draw the tension be and maybe then draw the car. You just don't know. Just yep. bend in the rod. Absolutely. Yeah. Turn the bottom up a bit and maybe you've got some speed. But um, ultimately, you, you, you can't be disappointed with the fish you had. I no, mean. no, it was it was a nice fish, the biggest for quite a while. Yes, um, yeah. Yeah, shame you didn't get one. You didn't see it anymore. No bend in my rod, unfortunately. But well, apart, apart from the roach. Yes, that's well. That's true. You know what? Let's not <laughs> let's not dis disregard the humble roach. Um, the alarm clock telling me to get up. No troubles. Well, thank you very much for that, Kerry, thank and uh, speak to you later. Well, good morning. Um, another very very quiet night for both myself and Kerry. Um, I really really thought it would happen last night. It looked perfect for it. We had the fish the night before, which was wonderful. We got that one on the bank. A um, few fish moving during the day, but mostly very, very quiet indeed. And what happened last night is at about sort of eight o'clock, just as the light started to fade, um, the cloud just cleared out, and it got very, very, very clear. And obviously the air temperature dropped accordingly because of that. And we woke up to this lovely mist. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful, but of course the lake is now flat calm. I wonder, maybe it's played its part, who knows, just a sudden change in, in conditions might have made the difference. It might be completely unrelated and the fish will disappear up to the other end of the lake, you just don't know. But um, what I do know is that I had a lovely session um, and we've seen an amazing fish on the bank, so um, well done caring for that fish. I think um, that sort of really does deserve a round of applause. It's not every day you get to sort of see and film a, a, 30, a 32 pound car. Um, Needless to say, we'll be back here again. 
doing what we do. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys all real soon. See you later.